Good morning, good morning, and good morning. I'm coming live from here, from Prague. Uh, I will show you the scenery, but at the moment, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit too far away from the window, so I'm not going to walk over there for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm in Prague today. It's Sunday. Uh, I've been here since Thursday. It's been amazing, fabulous as always, growing, and I can't wait to touch my UK soil tomorrow, probably in the afternoon. So this morning I woke up and I wanted to share on this fine Sunday morning um, this poem that I came about, I believe it must have been about four months ago, and I was just blown away, and I think that's what started my fire again in my belly, it brought my passion back with a vengeance, oh my goodness, but before I go into that, I want to say good morning, say good morning, it's rude to not say good morning, how are you doing? Um, yeah, so I want to break it down for you. Again, this is just based on my opinion, on my interpretation of the poem. And it's not going to be like a five minutes. It's really short. But the title is called Our Deepest Fear. And it's by Marianne uh, Williamson. And I believe that you might have heard this poem from different films. I think I heard it in Coach Carter. And I think that's really where it, like, it drew me in like, whoa. Oh my goodness, whoa. So, here I go. And then, yes, I am cheating. I don't know it word by word. So, I'm going to be reading parts of it from my laptop. So, the first part is, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. When I heard that, I thought, whoa. Powerful beyond measure. Let's keep going. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. And for me, that's where I've realised we are all afraid of what we actually have. We have, as what Les Brown, sa as Les Brown says, we have greatness inside of all of us. And I think that's what frightens us because we know what we are capable of. We are capable of so much stuff, so much powerful stuff that... It actually frightens us. <laughs> oh, let me carry on. We asked ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, the question is, I've just put that in, who are you not to be? We always says, I can't be this. I can't be that. And the real question is, why can't you be that? It really is that simple. So, your playing small does not serve the world. Amen to that. Amen to that. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. I've known so many people that say, Krisha, I don't really want to, you know, shine so bright so people could, like, attack me or say, oh, she's too, oh, she thinks she's this, oh, she thinks she's that. Why not? Sometimes it can inspire people how powerful you are. Maybe they want to grow. Maybe they want to be as fabulous and loud as you. But they just feel like, oh no, maybe I should just shrink down. No, no, no. No, no, no. Anyone that knows me, I'm not about that. But I am also, I did start to feel like maybe I should be quiet. Maybe I am too loud. Maybe this, maybe that. And in fact, I am who I am. And I am happy about that. And I hope you start to become happy who you are. And if you want to be loud and proud, say it. That's my added part in there. <laughs> and the last part, which really just drew the whole poem to me, she says, and as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we liberate from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. And I just want to say, as we lead on Sunday, going into Monday, be all that you can be. 
be all as they say a tree doesn't grow to a certain height a tree grows as far and as and and as wide and as beautiful as it can be there is no limitations it just grows until it can it can't grow no more and I believe there is no no such thing as you can't grow another level another level another level another level so I'm popping off I've got more growing to do I've got more roots to dig deep into this soil and I just want to say I love you all and I'll speak to you real soon